Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about how to import Power BI. So basically you can import data from data sources, website, Excel and many more. So clearly you will be working on Excel data sets. So we will be dealing with how to import data or Excel data to Power BI. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself to master data analytics and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started with how to import Excel data into Power BI. Okay, let's switch to Power BI first. Let's deal with the type of sources and then switch to Excel. So now uh, we have landed to the Power BI desktop. So here we have a wide variety of options. Excel workbook, you can get the data from hubs. You can get data from SQL servers and you can also enter the data manually. We have another option called Dataverse. It's, it's another story for another day. And you can also uh, customize your inputs here. You can get some data from web pages. You can do some uh, data, crawl, you know, website crawling and get the data. So uh, apart from that, coming back to today's uh, subject, which is about importing data from an Excel sheet. So Excel can be a little tricky sometimes. So here we can see an Excel data file. So here we have sales data for four years, 2020, 21, 22, 23. And uh, let's say we wanted to import all these four files into one desktop, Power BI desktop. Can you do that? Yes, we can do that. And another way here we have is Excel data sets and a combined Excel sheet where we have multiple tabs. The same four years of data, which looks something like this. 2020, 21, 22, and 23, correct? So four years of uh, data separated by four different tabs. So can you combine this? Yes, you can also combine that. So we will check out two possibilities. So let's quickly go back to Power BI window and go to get data. And here we'll try the first one. So go into more and here select uh, the folder option. So file and uh, folder connect now browse the folder so we have the browse option here go to downloads where we have that folder go to excel select that and press ok and another ok and we should be getting the data shortly now uh, here we have combine load and transform we can just go with combine and load but we don't want to have any errors in our data sets so for safer side we will go to transform data and we will shape our data manually and for more tutorials on explanation on transform data we have a exclusive video on transform data in power bi you can check out that so here go to the first one you know the binary one where you have the binary just right click it and make sure that you remove any other columns than binary we don't want them right so uh, an extra column is the custom column and here you go and let the name be custom we need the name for that so excel we need a function where we can import excel workbook so this is the one excel workbook and open a bracket then just double click on this content or you can use insert and close the bracket and just press ok there you go 
and then you have the table over here you can just expand it so I want this prefix okay now again just select the name of the sheet and of the sheet rest of everything you can delete we don't need any of those you have it now expand the data you can use the original columns as prefix or not i will not choose to do that press ok and your data should be loaded shortly you can see we don't have the names of the columns as the column headers you find them in the first column when you're in the first row you can okay let's remove this column we don't need the new column we need the row id first there you go now you can click on this option over here where you, where you can find a small table and the second option and use first row as headers and that's how you get the data imported from all the different sheets into your data set you can once check the filters just make sure, just to make sure that we don't have any of the column headers from four different data sets as one of the element right so we don't have it so okay now this is one way of importing data and uh, another one let's say go back to home and we wanted to import a few more data sets uh, like the other one where we have the combined one right so you have the applied steps right you can just go on eliminating them just for demo purposes so that we go back to the home page where we didn't have any of the data set right now let's go back to the source level you can also remove the source level over here so you can even close the source level and close the query settings so data or you can completely close the power query editor yes now let's import the excel so this might take a little while worry not go to excel excel workbook and here just select the excel data sets and here we have the combined data set remember where we had four different tabs so press ok automatically it will give us the power uh, query option where we can load or transform the data now you have four different tabs now power bi or power query will give you an option of choosing which particular years you want to work with let's say i want to work with only the latest two years that is 2022 and 2023 then i can directly go to load or transform let's go with transform as we did previously and here you can combine the data sets all together you can just uh, use the uh, data merging option and combine these two data sets so here we have the merge queries option and you can just merge here we have the first table which is 2023 here you just have to select 2022 from the drop down the data here and just press on ok and you will have the data sets merged for more explanation on how to merge data in power bi we have a dedicated tutorial on how to use merge in Power BI. And that's how you can import data to Power BI. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to import Excel data to Power BI desktop. And should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the sample data sets that we used in this session or any other resources, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.